Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for tuning in to start something beautiful. Thank you for the time that you're taking to be with us. We are just delighted that you are here. I have gathered together three amazing women for you to hear from today. And I know that your heart is going to be blessed by their stories. You know, we are living in completely unprecedented times. And I just wanted to take a moment out for you to be inspired. You know, these women that are going to share their stories with you today are doing so for a reason. Uh, we are gathered together so that you can feel the passion and feel the courage and feel the imagination and the determination that it took for us to say yes to a Mary Kay business. But the reason we're saying that we said yes is because we want you to say yes as well. And we are finding that during these really crazy times that women are really, truly struggling. Uh, they are struggling emotionally. They are struggling because they're in isolation. They're struggling financially. And we know that that doesn't have to be the case. We know that things could be different for you if you would say yes to what we're doing. And so we're going to share with you a little bit today uh, in the hopes of inspiring you to make a yes decision to join us in Mary Kay. So here's what I want you to know is that our company recognized that these times are different. Our company recognized that the need is great for women to be able to very easily engage in social selling. And so they launched something just this week. It's for a limited time. And it's the opportunity to start a Mary Kay side business for just $30. I want you to know that right up front. And I want you to be thinking of that as you listen to each one of these incredible women share why they love their Mary Kay business so much. So if you will just sit back for a few minutes, I'm going to introduce you to our first guest, you are going to love her just as much as I do. So welcome, please, with Charlotte Metcalf. Thank you, Corinne. Hi there. As Corinne said, my name is Charlotte Metcalf. I live in Oakdale, California. I am married, and I have three grown, three grown children. You know, when I made the decision to become a consultant with Mary Kay, I have to tell you, it was 100% out of fear which is a terrible place to make a decision, but that's where I was in my life. I found myself in a scary place, honestly, uncertain of our future because my husband was in a very high stress job that he decided to just up and quit one day. Uh, uh, throw a defiant fear in the mix and I found myself exhausted emotionally, tired of being a stay at home mom, but not wanting to sacrifice my freedom for an eight to five job. What I didn't realize would come from my starter kit was a bag full of possibilities. And those possibilities are what fuel my passion today to go after my dreams. Little did I know six short years ago that my starter kit and following the Mary Kay journey would lead me down a path of personal growth and self-discovery. I didn't realize how much I had shrunk in my own identity. I had lost my confidence and lost my spark for life, quite honestly. Mary Kay has completely reignited my spark. It has been such a fulfilling journey for me. You know, I enjoy a healthy reorder business that I have made and I have made so many new friends. I'm setting goals and working to achieve them. I promoted myself to the position of a sales director one and a half years ago and earned my first free trip to the Bahamas for two, all expense paid. And boy, was that my biggest accomplishment yet. And in addition to being a sales director and, you know, what fuels my passion today is the realization, honestly, that women deep down love to be praised and recognized. They love connection and sisterhood. And they want to live with a sense of purpose and belonging. You know, I approach my business with a desire to serve others and to see the true beauty that is unique to each individual that I meet. Everyone has something special to offer. It is my job to find out what makes her special and encourage her to be her very best self. Mary Kay has taught us 
um, to imagine that every woman we meet has a sign around her neck, an invisible sign that says, make me feel important. At the end of the day, that is what I love doing and what fuels my passion. Thank you for letting me share. Awesome, Charlotte. Thank you so much for taking some time out to inspire us with your passion. And I would love to just uh, ask you candidly, uh, if you would just share maybe uh, what you, where you were as far as you mentioned your kids and, and your husband and, and fast forward those six years, um, you know, where, where are your kids now and, and what is everybody up to and, and how does your life look a little different? Yeah, thanks, Corinne. You know, fast forward six years, I am now finding myself as an empty nester and my kids are actually doing really, really well. You know, the stress that came along with raising um, teenagers, you know, has left the nest, if you will. And, I, you know, we've just discovered, my husband and I both together, that, you know, God works everything out for good. And, you know, we know that God has called our kids to a purpose, a special purpose. And it's just fun to see them grow and develop. And I have really enjoyed seeing, you know, my husband, also landed himself in a new job that he loves and feels so much better about himself now. And that's caused him to actually be, you know, the, you know, just embrace everything in life a little bit uh, more relaxed, if you will, you know, getting rid of that high stress job. And then, you know, for me, um, it's been so much fun. Um, I was shocked, actually, I wanted to tell a story about being able to, you know, I started in your unit and, you know, basically you were my recruiter. And I remember going to my, my very first year in Mary Kay. I started in the fall and I went to seminar um, that year. And I was just shocked to find out that I had landed in, the, in Corinne's top 10 personal sales for her unit. And I came home just bragging about that because I was like, do you know how many people are in Corinne's unit? I was in the top 10. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and it was just exciting because I realized that just a little bit of work, I mean, I was doing this very part-time, but I was enjoying putting product on faces and being rewarded for it and being recognized. And then year after year going to seminar, it might, you know, my goals increased and I found myself excelling and succeeding. And it's just been so rewarding. And it's been very rewarding to watch as well. So Thank you so much, Charlotte. Thank you for sharing. So excited to have you with us today. And now I'm going to introduce you to our next featured speaker, which is Ms. Erin Rabban. Hi, Erin. Hi. Hi. So my name is Erin Rasban, and I started Mary Kay at a time, well, I had, just before I started, I had recently quit my full-time job as an environmental planner and my night job as a geography professor. And we moved, my family moved across country um, from Southern California to Florida for my husband's job. And at the time I had had a one-year-old and then I had a second child. And so as I want to say like the baby fog kind of lifted, um, I started feeling like I needed something for myself. And I had these God-given talents that I didn't know where to put them. I loved being a stay-at-home mom, and I loved the time I had with my little ones at the time. But I just felt like I had something more to give. Um, and I had, I really, truly felt like they were God-given talents, and I wasn't utilizing them. And I literally, I remember praying, God, I know you have something more for me. I just don't know what it is. And I had friends that were like crafting and running marathons. I am not those things. And so I went ahead and just like prayed about it and let it go. And I got invited. Actually, it was Julia, our next speaker. She invited me to a Mary Kay uh, beauty experience. And I went ahead and went and I heard about the business. And I thought, you know, why don't I just try it and see what happens? You know, and so it wasn't until a few months into it that I realized that Mary Kay was actually what I had been praying for. It was the girlfriend time that I was missing, the connection with other people that I was missing, and just something that I can work on myself and work towards. 
And that's what Mary Kay had given me at the time. And as it turns out, um, six months after starting my business, my family moved back from Florida, back to Orange County from Florida for my husband's job again. And I did not want to put my kids, at the time they were one and three, they were two boys, they were one and three, and I didn't want to put them in daycare. And so I really believe God placed this business in my life at a time where I might not have necessarily needed the financial aspect of it, but I needed the emotional aspect of it. And then when I, and I had the business set up when I did need the financial aspect. So we moved back to California and instead of putting my kids in daycare, I got to work this business with them. And I was doing beauty experiences and putting product on people's faces with my one and three year old in tow and delivering product and all of that. And um, they have watched me um, grow my business and build it and build it into now I'm a sales director. I've been a sales director coming up on two years. I can't believe it. And I even remember my, um, well, not my now eight year old, he was probably like five, six, saying, Mommy, how many more do you need to become a sales director? How much more sales? How, what do you need? What more do you need to become a sales director? And asking me those questions. And so I love that my two boys have watched me build this business and um, watch me have fun with it and have something that um, is kind of separate from them that is my own that I get to work on me and um and just develop who Aaron is um as a leader as a friend um as a mentor and also as someone who gets mentored so those are the things that I love in Mary Kay and it hasn't all been easy there's been struggles I think anytime you're working on yourself there are struggles, um, but every single struggle I have grown as a person, um, grown in my relationships, grown, just, just grown, basically. And so one of my favorite quotes from Mary Kay Ash, and I even tell this to my kids all the time. They're starting to, they're six and eight now, so they're rolling their eyes at it. But I say, if you think you can, you can. And if you think you can't, you're right. So thank you so much. That's awesome, Erin. Thank you for, for sharing. And, you know, Charlotte mentioned earlier uh, one of her accomplishments being in Mary Kay. Her most recent was earning an all-expense paid trip to the Bahamas for her and her husband. And uh, tell me a little bit about uh, maybe did you do something like that, too? <laughs> yes. Well, that was like the most fun. In fact, I got to go on that cruise with Charlotte. Uh, we were like Mary Kay. We're, we are Mary Kay BFFs. And um, we had so much fun. And I will tell you, it was not easy earning that cruise, but every bit of it was worth it. You know, every effort that I put in, every phone call I made, every product appointment, all of that that I did, it was so worth it. I mean, all those things were so minuscule to the experience that I got um, to take my husband. My husband, thankfully, takes me on a lot of fabulous vacations. And I got to take him all expense paid trip to the Bahamas and have him just relax and enjoy it. And it was we're like even talking about like, um, I don't know, we before this quarantine, we were talking about taking my kids on the same cruise. <laughs> but I'm so glad we got to go kid free just as an experience. It was fabulous. It was so wonderful. <laughs> That's awesome. And it's been fabulous watching you grow and develop and do amazing things like earn cruises to the Bahamas. So congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead now and introduce us to our next guest speaker. So, Miss Julia. Hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. It's so nice to meet you. I can see my little stray hair there. Look, I'm going to catch it. There we go. It is so nice to meet you all. My name is Julia Crowley, like Corinne said, and I live in Jacksonville, Florida. I have an awesome husband. He's a teacher, and we have two boys who are now 10 and eight. You know, when I started this business, my first son was just six months old and I had been a TV reporter at Mary Kay. And I had actually known about Mary Kay for a long time, but I'd never had the courage to step forward and try it for myself. In fact, Corinne, who's been hosting this thing, she's my cousin. She did Mary Kay for almost a decade before me and constantly talked to me about the business. But her and I were very different. We had very different personalities. And I thought, well, if she can be successful at Mary Kay, 
I probably won't be because we're different. But I did not know that so many different women, shy women, outgoing women, introverted women, so many different women not only do Mary Kay, but succeed at it. And so I didn't know that. You wouldn't know that until you tried. And so eventually, I needed money. Like I wanted extra money. I got tired of our of our set incomes just paying the bills. I wanted things that would pay off credit card debts and pay for trips for our family and save for money like when there's a quarantine lockdown. I wanted to be able to do those things. And what Mary Kay afforded me was the opportunity to do that on my schedule, right? So many other jobs, you're beholden to their schedule, but they told me in Mary Kay, I could choose my own hours. I could work when I wanted. I could work where I wanted. And that gave me so much hope. Now, I wasn't sure I was going to be good at it. Um, but here's the thing. It was inexpensive to get into. And my thought was, I'm never going to know until I try. So I'm going to try it. And if I'm terrible at it, I'll just quit. That was my master. That was my master plan. But I'm so thankful that I took the courage to get started because there were so many things that lied ahead that I had no idea would come from my starter kit. What I quickly learned was that I could fit Mary Kay into my life, into the nooks and crannies of my life. And working my Mary Kay business actually gave me more time with friends and it gave me more choices with my family where we could really work our schedule around what worked for them. My husband's a teacher and my kids are off in the summer. so. I really work my Mary Kay business really hard when we're not in the summer months. So in the summer months, I can focus with my family. And that's such a, a great choice that we get to have. You know, when I started my business, it was 2010, which if you remember was another bad economic time. It was really the heart of the recession. And so when I started my business, I, I wasn't even thinking about that. And what I quickly learned was that women buy. So during hard economic times, like now, I think people are concerned that people won't buy products, but we still wash our face. We still wanna wear makeup because if things are stressful, we wanna, we wanna look pretty because it makes us feel better. And so I found that my sales um, did not get affected by the recession, and that's such a gift. Now, one of the unique things about my story is that in the 10 years I've been Mary Kay, in my personal life, I have seen many crises, many storms that my family and I have weathered. In fact, when I started this business, I had a very sick child with a rare genetic disorder, and it could have easily been a reason for me not to get started. But to be honest, it was the reason why I wanted to get started. And what I found was working my business, and at the time, I didn't have a lot of time to give to Mary Kay. I worked a few hours here and there throughout the month. But what it gave me was joy. It gave me something positive to think about, to not focus on the storm in my life, but to think about this positive thing and this fun thing that I could do. And then a few months into the business, my husband became terribly ill. And so for a year and a half, I was his main caregiver. And every job I've ever had, I would have had to have left the hospital where I stayed with him to go work. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to work. And there's not a lot of things that you can do to sustain that for that long. But what I loved about Mary Kay is you can work it from anywhere. So I worked my business from the hospital. When my husband would be resting, I would do things online. And doctors and nurses were constantly coming in. And I could talk to them and share with them about the products and the opportunity. And I loved the mobility of my business because you never know where life may take you. What right crises might come. Just like right now, I've learned to work my business virtually. So I do it from my home, which is kind of nice. But I can talk to anyone um, anywhere in the US, which is such a blessing that we have that ability with Mary Kay to be flexible. And then just a few years ago, I worked this business through my own breast cancer fight. And I'm so thankful that I had this business to be something positive to focus on and something that would benefit my life and I could pick up and set down as I needed. You know, you're in charge of your Mary Kay business, so you choose how many hours you work. And so when I've been in these different storms, my business has looked different and that's okay. That really is a blessing. I, I just think um, one of my favorite Mary Koi quotes that I think of a lot of the time when I'm getting, when someone is thinking about getting started or trying something new, my favorite Mary Kay quote is fake it until you make it. That is literally how I have worked my whole 10 years in this business. Awesome, Julia.
Thank you so much for sharing your story. So why don't you give us just a little update to, uh, maybe health wise and with, with your boys and your husband and um, talk about maybe just some of the benefits uh, of, of maybe the cars you've earned that have provided for your family. Um, and of course, you know, going on the theme of the Bahamas cruise, of course. <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm pretty sure Mary Kay planned that Bahamas cruise for me alone because it was the very end of my cancer treatment. And it was such a gift. Corinne and I went together and it was such a gift to be able to do that with my with my husband. But God has been so good to us. He has healed um, all of us, which I'm so thankful for. My husband um, has been seizure free for over uh, seven years and um, I have been cancer free for two years now. So we're so thankful for that. And, um, you know, in my Mary Kay business in the 10 years, we're actually currently earning our seventh car, which is amazing. We earned, um, we actually earned two cars during my cancer treatment. And so I always say that to say that you don't have to have a lot of time to, to make some big things happen in Mary Kay. And those cars are a blessing. My children, I'm pretty sure they don't know that most people pay for cars when they go to a dealership. Like I always go to a dealership, there's balloons and, pink carpet and we take home a free car. I think my kids think that that's how you get, that's how everybody gets cars. But it's such a blessing because it takes so much off my family's monthly budget to have those cars and to have a secure car that every two years we get a new one and I don't have to worry about that car. It's really been a blessing during all the ups and downs in our life to have that steady thing always happening. Oh, thank you, Julia, for sharing. It has been such a joy to have watched you uh, work your business uh, so consistently and so determinedly uh, during all of these ups and downs uh, and to just see you flourishing. So thank you. Awesome. Okay. So ladies, I mean, have you been inspired so far? I bet you have been. Uh, so, you know, in closing, uh, I have made a career out of this Mary Kay business. I've been with the company for a little over 21 years. Uh, and that's not what we're asking you to do. We are simply trying to show you that this business works in the highs and the lows of life. And while none of us started our Mary Kay business in a pandemic or in a, you know, a major, major world crisis like what we're experiencing right now, we all did have a crisis point in our lives. And I think as women, most of us can make a decision for good when we're using our combination of our of our gut, our intuition, our heart, and our head. And when we combine those together, we can generally filter through something and say, is this something that could benefit me? And of course, uh, I'm partial to Mary Kay, having been with the company for 21 years. Uh, when I started my Mary Kay business, I was in my own little personal crisis. Uh, I was uh, 30 years old. I had a career in a, in a different industry and it wasn't fulfilling me. It was actually very stressful. Uh, I had a one-year-old and a four-year-old at home, uh, well, in full-time daycare. And uh, it was hard. It was really, really hard. And I was kind of at a crossroads in my life where I remember thinking like, is this all there is? Is this it? Like, I'm just going to get this salary every single month. And then, then I'm going to sit and pay all my bills. And then we're going to live on very, very little. Uh, you know, I just had this thought that what, what more could be out there for me? What more could be out there for my family? What more could be out there available that I'm missing out on? I uh, never would have guessed it would have been called Mary Kay. I'd never sold anything before. Uh, my story is much like the other girls. We were invited into this opportunity and we simply just made a yes decision to give it a try. And that's all we're asking you to do because right now with what's going on in the world, it's probably time for a plan B. And what you need to know is that Mary Kay has prepared uh, this opportunity for you. So normally, uh, we purchase um, products and we purchase a beautiful kit that allows us to demonstrate our products. But because of this unprecedented time and us not being able to be face to face with other women, uh, our company has simply shifted and they have made available for a very limited time the opportunity for you to give social selling a try. It's $30. It's 30 bucks. You could be registered online tonight, by tomorrow, by the next day, you could be up and running and giving this business a whirl. And who knows where it's going to lead you? Will it lead you to free cars? 
I've earned 11 of them. I drive a pink Cadillac. I could never have imagined that that would have been a, a part of my future. But if it weren't for me just saying yes to trying, will you earn a cruise to the Bahamas? Will you be able to enjoy the benefits of the being a stay-at-home mom? Will you enjoy the benefits of just a little extra income coming in? We won't know until you absolutely give it a try. And so we want to invite you. We want you to, in to invite you to start something beautiful. We are here to support you. I've shared with you uh, three women who I have collected as my success stories. Uh, I have decided that collecting women is my favorite thing to do. And collecting them and helping them build successful lives brings me so much joy. And I want to add you to my collection. One of my very, very favorite Mary Kay quotes is don't limit yourself. Many people do limit themselves. What you think you can achieve, you absolutely can. And we don't want you to live with limitations any longer. So for $30, we want to invite you to come be a part of us as we say goodbye to each of you and wish you the best. God bless. Bye. Bye.